Yo guys, what's up? It's time for a five minute game. I lost the last game. It was very sad. But now I'm playing a fish puppy. So I should beat a fish puppy, right? That doesn't sound too intimidating. Uh, what is this? All right. Uh, it's the time of. I play a four. It's not the most common move, but I enjoy it very much. Now I take this, and after queen takes, which is the main move, I will play bishop O. Well, this is a move too. It's a little less common than queen takes. And white gets a decent position. I cannot recall if I'm supposed to go e5 or leave the tension. I'm going to go e5. Just couldn't remember though. Um, we have ideas here of knight a4 and c4. Um, we can also just develop the bishop, which is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to just do this. I don't know. And the plan is to play c4 and kind of try to break up his pawns a little bit. So if he goes c5, I go c4. That is not a move I've seen before. <sighs> Let's think. Okay, I'm just going to go c4. <clears throat> now, now c5 is actually difficult for him to play in some ways because I take on d5 and I get uh let's go rook c1 now we have ideas of pawn takes pawn and and the rook on the queen could be a problem I might go king h1 sometime in the future as well to avoid all future checks so far you know position's normal although I gotta be honest I do like white's position I think that I have easier play here his pieces are a little clunky we will see what happens. I like his name though, Fish Puppy. <clears throat> well, we are waiting on a move. I don't, you know, I just turn my brain off sometimes. Alright, move the king. Well, let's think. My goodness. Um, pawn takes pawn is interesting. Oh, he can just take back. So that doesn't help me too much. Hmm, how do I proceed at this point? It's not super obvious to me. I'll just develop my queen. <coughs> I'm having, see, if we take on d5, he takes, and he kind of relieves the pressure a little bit. However, I would have a move like rook to c6 in a position like that. It could cause some difficulty. Let's just slowly improve our position. Let's double on the C file, which one day may become an open file. I'm drinking water during the game because I'm unbelievably thirsty for some reason. Just going to try to play, think, take things calmly here and hope that I can slowly improve my position, grind this dude down. I wonder what his plan is. I have no idea, but let's just... Let's continue doubling on the file that is not yet open, but maybe soon. <clears throat> I mean, I, d I definitely feel like I have a lot of pressure here. I may go h3 at some point, just to avoid any back rank trouble. No real, and just a place to put my king on h2, a nice cozy little place. I also would like to gain time on the clock, because... You know, it's always nice to be up a minute or two in a blitz game. It makes a big difference, and it gives you many more options. So let's, let's see, can I do anything strong here? Like knight takes knight, queen takes, pawn takes d5. He sort of has to go c takes d5 at that point. Oh, I have to calculate. Then I have bishop takes a6, he must go rook takes c2, and it seems as though he survives the worst there. But I don't know what else to do other than, well, yeah, I don't know exactly what else to do. So I am going to take this. Now, if I take on C, if I take, he takes back. All right, so I'm going to continue to keep the tension in the position. <clears throat> now he does have uh, counterattacking ideas like A4, which maybe I should have paid more attention to instead of a stock move like H3. We'll see. All right, h6. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, whatever. I'll move the king. Okay, now he goes a4. I can take it. Um, that's probably what I will do. Just because I, I didn't know what else to do. Otherwise, he takes on b3. I'm still up like 40 seconds on the clock, but my position is not like... I, I can't really figure out what's happening. I feel like I maybe have some slight advantage, but it's not... I'm not able to find like a... a great plan here, exactly. But the position should be okay. Uh, someday he always has to worry about pawn takes d5, and it's annoying in Blitz to constantly have to worry about a capture. So, I mean, that's a good thing for me. But still, if it was my move, c takes d5, he can recapture it with the c pawn, and I don't see a great follow up. Let me calculate it again though. c takes, c takes, rook c8. I can put my bishop on b5. Okay, now I'm going to take this. It's time to act. <laughs> time for action. Um, I believe I'm just going to start trading things and then putting my bishop on b5 and then just saying that I'm up a pawn. It's a doubled pawn on the a file, but it's a passed pawn also. I will put it there. I'm up on time as well. He will probably play a move like queen to b4. I was wrong. He doesn't. If I take, okay, bishop c3, is it any good? Or queen, no, queen to b4. I will play bishop to c3. My plan is next to, to capture on, oh, I just noticed he can do that. Uh, oh well. <laughs> so, uh, the good news is I'm, I still have the outside pass pawn. So, like, if he goes queen a2, I can trade and play... I'm not sure what the best way is. I, I can just go b6 probably. I'm close to winning, I think. He can't go to b file, so I have this pass pawn. Let's see what he does about it. He may have to go... No, bishop to b4 is very strong. Let me just double check that, but I believe it's winning. Okay. If he takes it, I go b7. And then rook c8. And I am winning the game. Woohoo! Okay, the game's over now, but he's still playing for some reason. And he resigned. Um, interesting. I feel like I was just slightly better the whole game, kind of controlling the action. I had the time on the clock. I had the... You know, this, this tension that he had to constantly think about, which is not, not easy to deal with. Like, if we... Let me just turn on Houdini here, just kind of curious. What's well, interesting. It didn't like Rook C1. It, it preferred to just capture, and then Rook C1, <coughs> and just play for the open file. <coughs> Instead, does this, I did this, and it says Knight B6. For some reason, it likes black. Probably because in this position, A4 is annoying. I'm surprised at how annoying it is, but... Oh well, he didn't do that. He played check, which it does not like any of my. It wants to constantly do this. Oh, what did I miss? Can I play a pawn capture? Rook. Oh yeah, I meant rook c6 is strong, followed by rook c1. So I actually missed a lot of good moves in this game. Um, <laughs> every move, it's like you have some winning move, but I don't play it. I just kind of like don't do anything. Um, so maybe, you know, I never played g4, which is, you know, an aggressive move. Uh, I was just trying to keep things calm. I thought I was going to slowly outplay my opponent. I was correct, but, you know, it seems I did have better options. <laughs> oh, queen takes a4. Look at that brutal move. That I did not see. That's kind of cool. I mean, the position looks... Bishop a3, why does it think black would be better here? What do I not understand about chess? <clears throat> I, I don't understand why why this would be good for black. Is rook c8 coming and I can't stop it? That's interesting. He's going to just get the file? I don't know. That's crazy. Queen a4 is a tricky move, though. Very hard to see. And this just loses to b6. Oh, well. It felt like I played better than I did, I guess. But in blitz, you know, it's very hard to play all the perfect moves. Thank you for watching.
and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.